became homeless January 31st, sleeping in the car with my cats. Lenine Kinley never expected to call her car home. And I got into an accident and couldn't go back to work. And then my rent got increased from $1,500 to $2,500. But that's where she slept outside of the Human Services campus for a month. Random people would knock on it, asking if I wanted drugs or if I if I have tin foil. Or... She connected with outreach workers who found her a bed at the Washington Relief Shelter, and she says no, things changed instantly. My very first night here, I fell asleep immediately, which a lot of people, you know, being out on the street, it's difficult to do. So yeah, very safe, very comforting to be here. Like I wanted to be here. Lenine is one of 900 people served at this one shelter since it opened a year ago. One of several locations that prioritizes helping people around the Human Services campus. We know the area around the Human Services campus is one of our top priorities. We have had plans for that area for some time now that we have been implementing. We're accelerating those plans. We're Rachel Milney is the director of the city's Office of Homeless Solutions. She says the city has made significant progress in addressing homelessness in the area through enhanced cleanups, which resumed in December 2022. We shut down one block at a time and address every single person in that area. It's a services driven approach in partnership with Community Bridges and the Human Services Campus. We will help individuals pack up their items, move them to a safe place while our streets department comes in and cleans the area of any biohazards and anything that needs to be cleaned up in the area. And while the individuals are in that safe place, we're able to offer them shelter, services, treatment. Um, we're able to transport them right then and there to those services. This targeted approach is proving successful. Uh, we've moved 123 individuals to other indoor places from that area. We will continue those efforts, certainly, and we're so excited to say we have had a 67% acceptance rate in when we address it in that way. It's also a key part of the city's plan to address the largest encampment. We are going to continue to go block by block in the area around the Human Services Campus. The difference now is we're accelerating those plans. And as we move people and offer them shelter and indoor spaces, they will not be able to go back to those areas to camp. Creating new shelter space is a priority. In 2022, the city of Phoenix partnered to add nearly 600 new shelter beds and 800 additional new beds are in the pipeline this year and next year. But we're looking at all other kinds of options at this point. We're looking at leasing hotel rooms. We're looking at vacant buildings that could be used temporarily to shelter people. And we're also considering a safe outdoor space as well. It's a place that would have restrooms, showers, 24-7 security, on-site case management, and um, rules and a code of conduct for people to abide by that would want to be in a space uh, where they could camp outside if there weren't indoor options or they weren't ready for an indoor option. No one person is alike. Uh, we need to have diverse options so that people are able to have a choice in where they go. So we're committed to working with various different partners, creating as many options and reducing as many barriers as possible. We've got property storage, if people have a lot of property that they're concerned won't be able to be accepted in a shelter. Uh, we have shelters that will allow partners to go together. We've got places for uh, people can bring their pets if they have pets. That's why I stayed in my car with my pets because I didn't want to give them up. Lenine and her cats are all welcome at the Washington Relief Shelter and now she's working to find them a permanent place to call home with the help of her navigator at the shelter. They provide a lot of stuff for us which is why I wanted to be here. We need more of these places. That's what I was going to, the only thing I say is I think we need more of them.